keep it farming with aim agriculture uh, my name is lewis ngoge i'm from biogas international i deal with communication and uh, here now we have uh, uh, this our headquarters we have the different biogas models for domestic use and for large capacity use this is some of uh, the raw material that, that we use our, our uh, flex biogas design runs on any biodegradable waste uh, such as this so these are the domestic units we call this uh, the standard model this one is uh, uh, you know when we mention biogas uh, a lot uh, what comes to the mind of most people is a big hole big pit filled with uh, stones and then cow dung but in our system now the flex biogas system does not require any construction or digging on site basically it looks like a digestive system this is the mouth or the inlet then everything gets in in this bag this bag now is the digester and it's placed on a flat surface so so there's no hole underneath then uh, the digester is covered with this greenhouse cover so this greenhouse helps to maintain optimum temperatures so even at night or uh, or even during rainy seasons uh, there's still a lot of heat that is produced uh, and the warmth now helps in uh, uh, to speed up the process of decomposition and to get uh, uh, optimum gas production uh, during the day and night so it's always covered this way then uh, here on the inlet uh, now it uses any biodegradable waste so you don't need to have a cow for you to have uh, the flexi biogas system you can use your kitchen vegetable waste your food waste uh, you know the animal uh, dung anything that is uh, biodegradable so the waste you mix it with water in the same ratio half to half let's say when you have a uh, half a bucket of uh, any biodegradable waste the remaining half you fill it with water then you introduce it here so uh, once you introduce it here, let's say the 20 kilos, that will generate all the gas that you require uh, to do your daily cooking, from breakfast, lunch, uh, and dinner. Now this is uh, the large capacity system. We call it uh, the T-Rex. Like this one is a T-Rex uh, um, 50. That means uh, it produces uh, about 25,000 liters of uh, biogas every day. So again, this is the kind of waste it runs on. This is uh, basically market waste. Uh, we shred the market waste using the, um, uh, this grinder here, so that uh, uh, just to speed up the process of decomposition. Everything goes to the digester. As you can see, it's quite huge. So we grind the waste, and the waste comes in this drum, and uh, we feed it now, uh, the waste, uh, directly to the digester after we've mixed with an equal amount of water. So everything gets in the digester, and uh, it's a multi-chamber digester. Yeah, like uh, this chamber one, half chamber two, half chamber three, chamber four, chamber five. So gas is being trapped from each uh, uh, compartment. And uh, excess gas now is stored in these uh, storage balloons. Yeah, this is just for storing uh, extra gas. So this system uh, is designed for, for schools, for institutions, uh, you know, children's homes, in markets, in hotels, basically areas with uh, high energy demand. Yeah. And we have different sizes, like this one is medium size. We have a small size, which we call the small commercials, a 15 cubic. This is a 30 cubic and we have a 50 cubic, which is like double of this. Yeah, so depending on uh, your energy requirements, we can always design a digester uh, to meet that capacity. This one here are just gas meters that uh, we are just uh, are measuring the gas production from uh, the domestic units, the large capacity. This is the urban biogas model, uh, still a work in progress. This we've designed for urban areas where they uh, there's limited space. So this tank is uh, the digester. It has its inlet on the other side and uh, the gas is trapped in, in the balloon. So this is what you are thinking in terms of uh, an, an urban biogas model. 
we'll keep you posted on uh, its developments. Then over here we have, uh, this is still the, uh, the Flex Biogas standard model for small families of four to six people. And over here we have the extra large model now for, for big families. Or you can say this one produces twice the volume of gas than uh, the standard model here. So with this one, apart from just uh, giving you the cooking gas, you have extra gas that you can use uh, uh, basically to add value to your farm. If you're a poultry farmer, you can do things like chicken brooding at a domestic scale with the extra gas. You can do things like uh, water heating or shower. You can do things like baking or running ovens. So this is uh, uh, income generating activities uh, uh, at a domestic scale can happen now with extra gas from this extra large uh, system. In terms of price, this one is 95,000 and uh, the standard model is uh, 80,000. So the price is inclusive of the digester, uh, its covering, which is a greenhouse cover and a shade net cover, the piping, a double burner stove, delivery, installation and training. So now this is the outlet uh, of uh, the biogas system and as you can see there are no insects or flies. It's coming out in liquid form. The excess uh, fertilizer drains in uh, uh, these two tanks. And in here we have a small submersible pump. So this pump uh, is attached to this uh, solar panel. So when the sun is shining like right now, we just turn the panel to face the sun and automatically the pump uh, turns on and we pump this fertilizer, it goes to the black tank uh, that's uh, just above there and the, uh, the other blue tank we fill it with water and the mixture now flows by gravity straight to the drip irrigation system on the corn gardens. So each, each, uh, each drip line goes to to every garden so you can decide which garden to water, which one uh, not to water. And uh, now it becomes very easy to manage them, you know, in terms of watering, uh, giving nutrients to your plants, it becomes very easy to manage. Apart from biogas, we also deal with uh, human waste management systems. And uh, uh, here we have now the, the toilet solution. You know, here in Africa, in Kenya, we are brought up on uh, pit latrine toilets. And the pit latrine, uh, it, it's, quite, it's quite an old technology. And uh, uh, it has many disadvantages, apart from, uh, you know, the obvious uh, cost of digging the toilet. So what we have here, uh, 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 first, there's no digging. There's no hole underneath. This is how the toilet uh, looks like. Uh, it's water-based, so uh, you can say it's clean. You can notice uh, there are no insects. So underneath the toilet, there's a small pipe uh, that brings the waste uh, uh, to uh, some tanks behind here. So waste from the toilet comes be uh, flows. Uh, now there's a small pipe here, and uh, the waste comes in these tanks. And these tanks they act as digesters. So the waste comes and gets to the first tank, which is more of the separation chamber. Uh, it traps in the inorganic material, but poop, tissue paper. Everything else will fo uh, flow through and get to the, uh, to the first tank. The tanks are completely uh, sealed, so the waste is uh, breaking down anaerobically. So the waste uh, uh, gets to the first tank, breaks down, it fills up, it goes to the second tank. As it decomposes, of course, uh, anaerobically, it kills the disease-causing pathogens, like coliforms, the E. coli, you know, gets to the third tank. And by the time it gets here, this is what comes out. This way. I don't know if you can notice this mosquito is escaping. It's actually an indicator that it's clean water in quotes. Because mosquitoes don't breed in that water. So it's liquid this way. You can notice there are no flies and uh, definitely no smell. So it comes out in liquid and the liquid is channeled uh, just uh, outside here. There's a small pipe, uh, uh, call it a French drain. Just a, it's just a pipe with holes at, at uh, intervals. And we channel it to go along the fence or uh, in the lawns. But basically this uh, system, it will never fill up 
it will never require emptying it's clean and sanitary so these solutions we, we install it now for schools for uh, for markets for farms at your home and uh, we call it the biosan uh, system it stands for biosanitation it's much more affordable uh, than uh, uh, than other conventional methods yeah this is biogas with biogas you can do wonders uh, cooking is among the things you can do with biogas this is free energy from your kitchen vegetable waste your food waste and if you have livestock even their waste i'll show you other uses of the biogas including even the use of uh, the fertilizer so as you can see the flame uh, it's a blue flame and uh, blue flame means uh, even your sulfuria won't, won't catch soot. Biogas is also a non-explosive gas. It will never uh, uh, explode. So mean, that means uh, it's very safe. So here we have another use of the biogas. This is a biogas uh, water heater. And it works in a very simple way. So gas from the digesters, uh, one goes to the kitchen. You have your gas connection coming here. So this is the gas connection. This is the water connection. So how it works, you just turn on the gas. And then you turn on the water. As soon as you turn on the water, if you come close, you'll notice a blue flame in here. And uh, so the, the water gets heated directly and uh, it's already warm. So this water can heat up uh, about seven liters of water in a minute. So it's very efficient. And remember it's running on biogas, so it's very safe, non-explosive. I mean, here you can shower for how, for, I mean, for how long you want it. As long as you have waste for the digester, you have enough gas to do things like water heating. So it has two knobs, this for adjusting the heat, this for adjusting the flow of water. You can set it to be even super hot for preparing water for defeathering chicken or for milking cows. Or you set it to be nicely warm for the shower. This is part of what biogas can do. These are uh, fruits dried using biogas. Here we have some uh, banana. Uh, we have some... Uh, this is dragon fruit. Uh, some mango over here. This is some ma dried mango. This is definitely some uh, lemons. So you can dry anything uh, from your fruits and vegetables. And, uh, and you can dry them using biogas. So over here we have uh, uh, the biogas uh, dryer. And it works in a very simple way. It's just a wooden cabinet with shelves. So uh, this is how it looks like on the inside. So when you've cut your fruits uh, or uh, your vegetables uh, 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 are ready, uh, what you do is just uh, place the tray inside. So it goes in like that. We have some pineapples over here. We have some... Uh, you, can, you can basically dry anything. Then what powers it? Uh, this is where the magic happens, where you have uh, the biogas uh, heater or a stove and the stove is covered by this uh, this the heat dissipator the warm air as you can see the flame there it's a small flame the heat rises in the cabinet so this one uh, remains closed uh, and it fans overnight by morning everything will be completely dry uh, like what we have here so when it's dried now like this uh, what you have to do is just you have to store it in an airtight container this way for it not to absorb uh, moisture. And once uh, you, you store it this way, it can last for over, for over a year. While, uh, I mean, the test remains the same. The nutritional value still remains the same. Now what you've, uh, what you've actually done, you've added value to uh, fruits. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture.